Hey guys, how's it going? Burke Crown coming at you with a YouTube video. Today we're going to go over some comments. I I wanted to take this time to go over, just randomly pick some comments and uh, answer them and just talk a little bit more about them because I, I do try to respond to every comment. I want to do it where I'll grab some comments and uh, maybe do it like this if I get enough. So if you do have any questions or something you want to ask me, put it in the comment section and maybe I'll throw it into a video. But uh, Let's get into the comments, see what we got, see what uh, see what I can explain, or, you know, throw in the comments section down below what you think and uh, how you would have answered the questions, because maybe what you would think is different than what I would think, and I'm curious at what everyone thinks, because, you know, hockey is such a, such a, deb like a debatable sport, I guess you could call it. It, it could be gone so many different ways, played so many different ways, and everyone can have their different, different way they want to do it. So hit that comment section down below with uh, what you think. And if you do like it, guys, give it a thumbs up. But let's go, uh, but let's get into these comments and see what we got. So Mr. Gene says, when momentum pattern, ice tilt kicks in, overalls don't really matter. Um, it may feel like ice tilt and momentum. Yes, I do feel like momentum's a thing mentally between two players. When some, when one guy gets, when one player gets really cooking in your, uh, your offensive zone and you're struggling defensively, that's when you mentally will make bad decisions. I do it all the time. If you haven't seen over on Twitch, come check me out on Twitch. I do it all the time where I will struggle to get the puck and you'll see me getting a little more, um, annoyed or agitated would be a good way of putting it and you you could say like ah that's that's ice tilt everything's tilting against me and there's one way to say it one way to put it but i feel like the more you struggle the more you get frustrated and the more you make bad decisions and as for 86s catching 99s angle angle can be a big part of it positioning can be a big part of it but if you're talking straight line to straight line then uh, maybe your guy was tired um in that situation and his was fresh and you know endurance has a lot to do with uh, keeping up and catching up to a higher overall card but excellent question man excellent statement and uh thank you very much i really do appreciate it and this one is gonna come from skate forever a very uh popular question lately heavily asked i the best answer I could give you is I have no idea anymore. The schedule would have had team builders coming like two, three weeks ago. Um, if you if they kept the pattern with how they've been releasing them. Um, but th the best I could say is Tuesday. <laughs> today is Tuesday, guys. So and so hopefully that we get it today. Um, but that's that's the best I could give you. Like I've been every Tuesday I've been waiting for these team builders. Cause I'm just I'm super excited for the new ones to come out. We're getting we're getting higher overall cards, and the idea behind the team builder is they're they're slightly above and ahead when the new ones come out of the the current cards. And at this point, when they drop team builders, they're not really above and ahead of anything. With how many 99s and 98s we have, team builders are just gonna kind of mix their way in that. They're still gonna be great, and they're still gonna be good if you get them. But uh, at this point, they've, they've lost their spunk of being uh, being the best cards in the game. And I feel like they're a little delayed, a little behind, or maybe even completely forgot about it altogether. But uh, yeah, Tuesday, I mean, it, 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 the team builders at this point are kind of getting to be a, jo uh, a joke and a sli like a meme, like a Tarkov wipe kind of thing, right? When are the team builders coming out? Ah, they're coming out Tuesday. <laughs> But yeah, guys, that's the best I can do for you because no, like, I, I don't know. Maybe they forgot about it and we're not getting them anymore. But, uh, but yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> so Skate and uh, everybody else that keeps asking me this question, uh, thank you very much for the question. And uh, yeah. And this one comes from Andrew. And what he's asking here is essentially why I have my hand switched, which is why do I have my left-handed play, my left-handed players on the right side, my right-handed players on the left side. And that's simply just for one tease uh d to d passes uh if you step into the slot your sticks on the inside no matter what side you are so if you pass it to the the defenseman on the left side his stick is on the inside when he steps into the slot to get a good shot and just quick cross cross goalie wristers um with the stick in the middle so you can pick which side you want to shoot on based on where the goalie is if you have your defenseman right hand on the right side then when he's coming into the slot, he's kind of closed off to where he's got to go short side. But if you if you have it on the if you have your right-handed guy on the left side, when he comes in, he's got a lot of options 
when he gets into the slot on where he wants to quickly release the puck at. That's why I do cross sides for on the rush one timers, setting up one timers, D to D passes, um, and just when you're in the slot, everyone's in the right position that you want them to be in. That's for my play. Remember, everyone plays slightly different, but if it's something you haven't tried out, I, I strongly suggest it and uh, see how you enjoy it. But Andrew, but Andrew, thank you very much for the question, man. And this one here coming in to coming in from Go Jets Go. Thank you for the question about uh, why your camp hasn't upgraded yet. And the, the the answer for that is EA doesn't work on Saturdays. They don't upgrade things on Saturdays. They don't do things on Saturdays. So if your playoff card wins a game, he will not be upgraded until Monday at 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, so that'd be the only really way of answering that one is upgrades all come out. But that's not just weekends. That's everything, right? So Tuesday, if your team gets a win on Tuesday, Wednesday at 5 p.m., he'll get his upgrade or right in that area. But that that that's why. If you got a weekend card, it's because they don't they don't work on weekends and they don't make upgrades on weekends. Hey, go Jets go! Thank you, buddy, for that question. I really do appreciate it. And Andrew here is referring to the pack opening video I did where I opened 20 NHL player packs, and I did get some really good pulls out of there. Uh, but he's referring to that as in why wouldn't I sell all the cards I got out of there instead of just quick selling them? Because I quick sold them in the video to get more coins, to open more packs. Um, but that that's essentially it. Uh, impatience. Wanting the coins now because of the impatience. Uh, not wanting to have to go through and list all those cards. Um, there's, there's various different reasons. If you did something like that, which I do not recommend, you would individually sell all those cards or turn them into collectibles. But uh, like I said, I do not recommend it. But to maximize the return on your coins, you would sell them all individually instead of quick selling them. Quick selling cards is the worst thing to do. I can't put that any better way than that. Do not quick sell your cards. Do it any other way than quick selling. Andrew, man, thank you very much for the question. Kind of statement, really, because that's a, like a, hey, dude, dumb, dumb. Why are you uh, why are you quick selling? You should be selling them on the market. I get what you're saying, and that that's I hope I kind of answered why um, I do that. And and again, this kind of falls in with the team builders and Andrea. Um, will we see a Chara card? Maybe. Who knows? Um, I don't really know. I don't. I don't really know who's in the alumni program that the NHL has access to to put into their to their game. I don't know if Chara's in there. I know he's been in the game before. But that was before he fully retired. So I don't know if we're going to get a Chara. But if we do, I think you're right and you're on to something there. A 98 team builder Chara would be uh, annoying, fun, hectic, painful. Uh, something that I could see EA doing to make us pull our hair out. And something that everyone would have. But uh, yeah, team builders too soon. Tuesday and Chara would be fun. I just don't know if we're going to see him in the game. Um, the Chara that we got last time was just broken. Oh, he's so annoying to play against. <laughs> but, I, uh, you know, if you love him, you love him. If you hate him, put him on your team and you'll love him. But, yeah, Chara would be uh, Chara would be quite the card to have in the game. Andrea, thank you for the question. I really do appreciate it. Hey, guys, thank you, everybody, for your questions and comments. If you weren't in this video, um, I'll go through and grab some more questions and comments for a video down the road. So if you do have a good question, throw it up and uh, and I'll see about cutting it and I'll see about throwing it into the next video. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And until next time, ciao, ciao.